on the island of St. Vincent. During the year 1635, two, two Spanish ships were carrying Africans that were going to be sold as slaves. So, that ship somehow got wrecked and luckily near the island, near the coast of St. Vincent. The Africans that survived were able to swim ashore and found shelter in the Indian settlement, St. Vincent. Years later, the Indians and the Africans intermarried. This intermix fused to the single culture known as Black Caribs or Garinagu. In the, in, in the year 1795, the French defeated the Garinagu on the island of St. Vincent. The Garinagu were exiled by British troops and shipped off to Roatan. After successfully developing a healthy crop of cassava on Roatan, the Garifuna people established fishing villages through the, throughout the Caribbean mainland. On November 19, 1802, many Garinagu people had migrated to British Andura, today known as Belize. This migration was led by Thomas Vincent Ramos. He led our people, he led our people to a settlement town in Dangriga, and they eventually branched out to other communities. November 19 is now acknowledged as a national holiday in Belize and celebrated with music and dance. In addition, Griffin culture is closely identified with music and dance. Griffin's music styles known, are known for their heavy percussion instruments and distinctive drums. Lastly, the Garinagu people are tough and have survived many years of extreme hardship. In, the Ameri in America, Garinagu are the only black people <coughs> to have preserved their native culture because our ancestors were never enslaved. With that being said, it's important to recognize that New York City has the largest population of Garifuna people outside of Central America. Also, declared by Governor Andrew M. Como and other political leaders, March 11th through April 12th is now considered Garifuna Heritage Month in New York City. Surrender.